Generalization of stress-strain relations of deformation theory of thermoplasticity in case of unloading taken into account. The problem of quantitative estimation of residual stresses and deformation fields appearing in some processes of thermal treatment, in welding, at operational characteristics restoring by building up method has been quite urgent. The problem of quantitative estimation of residual stresses and deformation fields appearing in some processes of thermal treatment, in welding, at operational characteristics restoring by building up method has been quite urgent. Average stress and deformation are as follows. Connected by the dependence. At the stage of initial deformation from stress-free and deformation-free state and the points where some active loading is taking place, the intensity of total deformation is equal to the sum of intensities of elastic and plastic deformations components. Stress-strain relations look like, see formulas below. The relationship between the intensities of stresses and deformations, see formulas below. The identical relationship sigma can be obtained on the basis of Mazing principle if it is generalized on isothermal processes of deformation. After such generalization, we have found sigma. Stress strain relations can be presented as the solved ones relative to the deformation tensor component or relative to the stress tensor component. The identical relationship sigma can be obtained on the basis of Mazing principle if it is generalized on isothermal processes of deformation. After such generalization, we have found sigma. Stress strain relations can be presented as the solved ones relative to the deformation tensor component or relative to the stress tensor component. Using the additional deformation method on the unloading stage with plastic deformation development. The formulae of the method of additional deformations in this case can be written as, see formulae below. The whole process of loading, heating, cooling, is divided into separate stages. Specifying the values of the deformation plasticity component for zero approximation equal to these components which were reached for the previous stage of loading, the elastic problem with additional deformations is solved. The iteration process lasts till its complete coincidence. After that, the transition to the next stage of loading takes place. Initially on every iteration in each point of the structure, the above-mentioned deformation has been assumed that occurred in it during the previous stage of loading. After the coincidence of the iteration process, the examination is conducted in every point of the structure to find out if such deformation was taking place in fact. If in some points the deformation behavior does not correspond the accepted one on the basis of information from the previous stage of loading, then the stage is fully recalculated with the previous replacement of the deformation behavior to the opposite one in such points. Due to the above-mentioned technique many practical problems have been solved namely the welding of thin-walled structural parts, building up welding aimed at strengthening or restoring the operational characteristics. If in some points the deformation behavior does not correspond the accepted one on the basis of information from the previous stage of loading, then the stage is fully recalculated with the previous replacement of the deformation behavior to the opposite one in such points. Due to the above-mentioned technique many practical problems have been solved, namely the welding of thin-walled structural parts, building up welding aimed at strengthening or restoring the operational characteristics.